Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be trying another DTF hack but this time I'm going to be using a inkjet HP printer. It's a regular printer, regular ink. I'm going to be printing on DTF film. If you don't know what DTF is, that's direct to film transfers and we're going to be making those with our regular printer and testing it out and see how it works so if you would like to see this process just go ahead and keep on watching and you will see how it all turns out this is the design that i'm going to be making i did get it from creative fabrica and we're just going to go ahead and proceed to the next step which is printing it out Okay, and this is the transfer once it's been printed. And after you print your design, you do want to be very careful because the ink is going to be extremely wet and you don't want it to touch any surface and you don't want to touch it with your fingers because it will smear. Here it is. And one thing about the DTF printers that other printers don't do is a DTF printer does print white. So that's the major difference with any other regular printer. It's not going to print the white, which is fine because this design doesn't have any white. But if you are trying to print a design or test it out with a design that has white, do keep in mind that you may want to press your design on a white shirt because the design is not going to print out. The printer is not going to print out white unless it's a direct film printer. Okay, and now that we have that design printed out, we're going to do our powdering. You want to get some DTF powder and sprinkle it on the back. And then after you put your powder on it, you're going to cure it. You can do it with your heat press, which you could finagle it. Or if you have a convection oven, you can put it in the convection oven to cure the transfer. Okay, and in here I do have my DTF powder. I don't remember what brand of powder this is. Um, I believe it's Yamation, but I'm not for sure. And I do know that the transfers that I'm using are the Yamation um, transfers. I'll leave a link down below. So you just want to put the transfer in the powder and cover the entire design with the powder. And then you're just going to shake off the excess powder and your design should be fully covered with the powder. So for this tutorial, I am going to be using my heat press to cure it. And I'm going to have my heat press on about 400 degrees. Okay, so I have my heat press set to about 116. And what you want to do is cover it over the design. You don't want to get it too close because you don't want the top of it to touch your design and it'll get or it'll get stuck. And you want to keep it like this until all of the powder is melted. And as you can see, it's sticking, unfortunately. But it's starting to melt. But you want to get all of the powder melted. As you can see, there's some that's still not melted, the powdery. But it should be fully melted. So we're going to hover it again. And there's no set time limit on this. You just want to hover it until it's completely melted. And now I have my heat, heat press up to 425. And we're just going to hover it over. Careful not to touch it. Okay, you guys, here's the transfer. So I did figure out a time. So you want to keep it at about the temperature, 425. Hover it over your design for about one and a half to two minutes. And what you're looking for is for the transfer to have an orange peel effect to it. That's how you know that it is ready. Kind of hard to see on camera. So we're going to go ahead and press this design on a white shirt. So I do want to give you all thorough um, more information about the transfers that I use. The brand is the Off Nova, so I had the wrong brand. And it is the 8.5 by 11 or the A4 size sheets. And whenever you're printing, you want to print on the matte side. There's a matte and a shiny side. You want to print on the matte side and you want to mirror your design so that whenever you put your powder and cure the design that it presses correctly. 
So be sure to print on the matte side and to mirror your design or on your printer settings. It's not gonna say mirror, it's going to say flip horizontally and that's how you want to, um, you wanna make sure you have that setting on so that your design prints correctly. Okay, now I'm getting ready to press um, the design. I am pressing at 301 degrees and I'm gonna press for about 15 seconds. And I do believe that these are cool peels, so I'm going to let, allow it to cool before peeling. Here is the design. And now with DTF transfers, you do want to go over it with your heat press an additional for an additional five seconds after you remove the transfer. So I'm gonna just go over it, put my Teflon sheet over it and go over it for about five more seconds. Guys, here is the results. I think it looks pretty good. And I did decide to print it on a light pink shirt because I noticed that the light pink ink did not print out on the transfer. So I'm assuming that any design that has white mix in it will not print. Any color that has white mix in it, it's not gonna print. And it only prints the darker colors. So do keep that in mind whenever you're choosing a design. And now the moment of truth is gonna be the wash test. I'm gonna put this in a wash and see how it holds up to see if it's actually a method that you can use to add to your business. So if you would like to see how this is gonna hold up, just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so here is the shirt after I've washed it. And as you can just see, the design did wash out a lot, except for the black. I noticed the black is pretty much still there. There are little specks on the design. I'm not sure if that's where the powder may have not cured properly. But for the most part, overall, I do think that this is not a good method to use to sell to your customers. But if you're just wanting a quick temporary shirt for yourself, I think it's a perfect, easy hack to try. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I will see you all in my next upload. Thanks for watching. Bye.